Hello everybody. Um, I'm doing a video on power steering. And as you can tell by this one. So we're in the car now. I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell from this. You can hear it squeaking. Sounds like a whine almost. Let's go take a look and see what that problem is. As would be the most causes, here's your the power steering fluid. Um, here's the kind that it takes. Dexon type ATF steering fluid. But here's the maximum where my finger is. Here's the minimum. It's below minimum. I fill this up to max. Um, I think it should stop. So I think that's, this is 90, I should say about 90% of the time. It's the fluid that's low. So try filling that up and see what happens. Also, I forgot to mention, I encourage you to uh, flush it if it hasn't been flushed. But in this case, I'm actually going to see the color of it. Cause I'm kind of debating because it's below minimum, as you saw. So it's not dark, it's actually perfect. So, but I'm not going to do a total flush, I'm just going to um, take a turkey baster and just suck up the, left, uh, the stuff that's in there now and just replace it. I'm not going to go through the whole process. Um, so, alright, so I'm actually dumping it into a um, oil pan. That's the color it and I'm just gonna Yeah, I should really be holding a rag on So I think you get the point. So when I'm done I'll be uh happy. Alright, um, I'm finished. Uh, this is very important. I ended up jacking up the car. Just a little bit, just so I can turn the wheels freely. Now, there's no fluid in here, so do not start your car. It will blow. It'll, um, it'll ruin your power steering pump. So, I'm just putting the key in just so I can turn it. Just, uh, you know, just let it flow a little bit into there so I can just pull out the rest. Um, I do have the emergency brake on. You know, if I'm going to leave the car in the jack so when I add it, I can test the steering. So I think I did good enough. I bought this stuff. Now this stuff did require... Oops, um, Dexron Type ATF Automatic Transmission Fluid. Um, I could not find that in the store. I checked everywhere. So I went online. I got this off of Amazon um, for Agent. Uh, vehicles it says it's specifically engineered for use in all Asian vehicles for both low and high mileage vehicles synthetic tells me it's, uh, it can be used uh, Lexus Acura Infiniti Toyota Mazda 
Nissan and other vehicles, including Hyundai, but um, also online, because I got this on Amazon, it said you can use it in Honda, but I'm testing it out, so um, you could pretty much, I think you can find it in the auto parts store, I just looked online and just found this, um, so I'm going to add it. To the fill line, do not overfill this. And by the way, I smelled that other power steering, and it smelled kind of burnt. So this one smells clean. And make sure that you fill it up to the max line. Do not overfill it. It's better that you underfill it than overfill it because the it creates uh, heat. So when it expands, you'll you could make something a wire or you could damage your system so it's better to underfill and overfill so we're at max right now um, this is a 12 ounce bottle by the way and Alrighty, you can kind of see how clear it is. And you can feel, uh, see it's filled up right there to the max. So the steering might um, make a little noise for a little while. I'm not even sure if this stuff's going to work. Um, but it specifically said engineered for a Toyota on there, so I'm going to go with it. Um, and hopefully we get good luck. Also, an easier way of that is if you want to flush your system, fill it up, run it, let it... Uh, mix in, then drain it out, and then refill it. That's an easier way than disconnecting all the hoses. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn the key. Do not start it yet. Um, and just turn it back and forth. And then we're going to start it, and then we're going to see if it bubbles or what happens. I'm going to start it, and we're going to see what happens. I don't know how well you can see, but you can. It's not bubbling. So hopefully this did the job. So let's see if we hear any squeaking. So it's been a couple minutes. I'm gonna um raise the revs to about 1,500 to 2,000 RPMs. let that um, power steering fluid circulate a little better. And do that for about 30 seconds. So I did that for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to lower it off the the jack and we'll get st and we'll put it flat so all the weight on, are on the wheels and we're going to see if um, we get no squeaks. So um, a little bit interesting. I just took it down the block and I just kind of floored it almost and just to get the thing and I should have done this way before because I, I don't know if it's in the steering column like I said 90% of the time it fixes it but I waited so long to fill this thing that I don't know if it's in the steering column itself the rack and pinion or the pump itself I unless the pump is worn because it wasn't low. I, I don't really understand this. But I think maybe once it gets flowing. I mean, 